Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are being blessed and staying safe. Um, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. It is about 7 o'clock um, in the morning on a Sunday. Anyway, I saw this new foil method in a group that I'm in on Facebook, and I made a shirt yesterday and posted it. And a lot of people were asking how to do this. So I wanted to hop on here right quick and do a quick video. I'm not going to get in the uh, frame because as you can tell, it's so early. I sound like I got a frog in my throat. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and press the shirt first and then explain um, how you do that. The reason being is it takes a couple of minutes for this to cool. So while this uh, image is cooling, I can go ahead and use that time to... Um, go through the steps so first of all what you're going to need is you're going to need a shirt this is a white gilding shirt that i have right here um i hope you can see my kids are asleep so i'm kind of winging it solo this is my transfer um and of course the transfers are being reversed it says i don't do cardio but i do run my mouth now this is a black single color transfer that i purchased from handmade by toya.com um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this shirt, uh, this image on the shirt. And then there is some foil that I'm going to put on top of it to give it like a rose gold finish. And from what I gather, the transfer acts as a glue or adhesive that would help the foil um, adhere to the shirt. So anyway... In the sake of time, I have already pre-pressed, I'm sorry, pre-pressed my shirt um, to remove any moisture. Always, always, always do that. That way you get a good um, adherence to your transfer. Um, so I pre-pressed my shirt. I've already found my center. As always, I go ahead and take my uh, transfer, fold it in half to find the center of the transfer. Place it on the center line of the shirt. Some people have uh, ruler tools or whatever. Um, at some point, I'll get them, but this works for me. Um, so I'll go ahead, press this. Now, I've got my heat press set at 322 degrees. On her website, she says uh, press for 307 degrees for 7 seconds. Um, but 320 works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press this um, probably for a little bit more than seven seconds just because I want to make sure uh, it's completely adhered. Sometimes some of the single image transfers have a hard time sticking. So, and I peel slowly just in case um, everything didn't stick. I can go ahead and press it again and it's looking like some of this is not wanting to stick so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press this for 14 seconds um just to make sure uh everything is sticking because just like i said this is going to act like the glue for this foil um to adhere to all right and these are hot peel so hopefully that was enough Okay, so it looks like it's going to stick. So, yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and take that off. So, here's the foil here. I'm going to bring it in view of the camera. Let me get back. This is a rose gold. And just like I said, while the shirt is drying, I'll go in a little bit more detail. So, what you do is you place this on top of your image and you place it shiny side up. You know, with regular HTV, you place it... um with the shiny side or decorated side down but here you're going to place it shiny side up remember that uh and you press it now one lady um in a group said she pressed hers at 330 degrees for 30 seconds i'm going to do two presses of 14 just because i am too lazy to reset the timer <laughs> On my press, I just, I hate it. Um, it. I got this from U.S. Cutter. It's a pretty decent press, 
I just hate messing with stuff. Um, so I'm going to lift it up and it looks like it's, you know, go ahead and adhering. But just like I said, I'm going to go ahead and press it again for 14 seconds just, you know, to go ahead and get the full time in. Um, the whole concept is neat. I did this on a black hoodie yesterday and it turned out so great. So I decided to try this on a white t-shirt this is again a gilding um t-shirt let me look at the tag and see um what it is all right let me lift that up this is the gilding 100 percent cotton um so you see that right there you can kind of see where it's sticking so i'm gonna move this to the side to give it time to cool the biggest thing with this in order for it to work it has to cool completely before you peel it. Um, so let me move my press out of the way. This is the package. I hope you can see. This is Memory Makers Heat Activated Foil Quill. Um, and I got this in rose gold. I got this from Joann's uh, yesterday. It was regular, like $10.99, and I got it on sale for $4.39. This is 12 inches by 96, inch, 96 inches, so you get a nice uh, sheet. Um, you get a, a considerable amount, being that it's on sale for 60% off, um, and it just comes on a roll. Excuse my hands, my nails are not done. <laughs> but it comes on a roll, it's, you know, and it's kind of thin. Um, but it does the job. Um, and just like I said, I saw this in a craft group and I decided to try it myself just to see um, how this would work. Um, and this would, if you're, you know, selling t-shirts for profit, this would, you know, just take your your game up to a whole nother level because you know you can uh get more use out of your solid colored transfers um you can get this foil look without you know spending a, a, a large amount of money we all know that specialty heat transfer vinyls can um get to be expensive so if you can get you a a transfer at a pretty cheap price and go ahead and do this and even if you're not selling t-shirts if you just want to do this for yourself um, all right, so here's the great big reveal. Um, I probably should have turned my press off. This appears to be cool um, enough. Let me... I hope you guys can see. I'm manning the camera, so... And this is what we got. Wow. That looks amazing. The key with this is making sure this is completely cool before you remove it. And I missed a piece of this. Uh, oh, but you know I'm going to go back and add it again. So anyway, this is how it turned out. Um, and this just made a solid black transfer just pop so thank you guys for tuning in let's see if i can place this so you can see it i'm sorry i'm manning the camera my kids are asleep so here we go it says i don't do cardio but i do run my mouth um i think this turned out great thank you guys so much for being support if you found this video helpful go ahead and like if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, comment if you if you want to see me do more videos. Um, but thank you guys so much. Um, until the next video, you guys stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.